Hi, I'm Jennifer Morris for Houdini. It's time to find a gift for your guy. Um, that can be difficult, so we have with us Brett Falgren, the GQ style correspondent, to give us some tips for gifts, how to get good gifts for your guys. Lots of G's in there. Brett? It is difficult to find gifts for guys, and so we're going to find foolproof options for you. We brought them along. They're all gadgets. Mm -hmm. um, and the first one is my personal favorite, which is the iPhone. Very popular. Yes, now. exactly. I love the iPhone because it's basically an all-in-one camera. It has everything that you could possibly imagine. Uh, the one part that I love especially is that it has iTunes on your phone. And also when you go on the internet, unlike other cell phones where it has to sort of reformat the text and you can only read articles, yeah. this is the actual internet on the phone. So it looks cool. really great. It looks just like the front of the New York Times. Now, um, how much would this run you? Um, they're starting at $400 now. So okay. they've gone down and they're a little bit more affordable. Okay, but what do you have for us next? This We have this cool white contraption here. What is that? This is a great item. This is uh, also made by Apple. Uh -huh. It's the Hi-Fi. It's a speaker. And this is really all you need to fill up your living room with deep, really good sound. Mm -hmm. um, and what's great about it is it's extremely convenient and you're able to put your uh, iPod right on top of the dock and then it has a remote control. So from any point in the room, you can just point it and fast forward to the songs that you like. It's a really nice, and it's also perfectly designed. Apple really makes beautifully designed items. Fits anywhere, and I mean, even if you want to take it on the road, you could do You can that take it on too. the road, and you can put batteries in the back if you go and have a beach party, anything like that. Um, so, and how much does this run you again? You About said $300. Okay. Um, okay, so tell us about this cool contraption here. This is a great item. This is perfect for the guy who travels a lot. It's a uh, travel shaver made by Braun, mm -hmm. and it's uh, very sleek and well-designed, and it's kind of almost like a cell phone in that you flip the top over, and there you go. You're ready for a closed shave. Just throw that in your briefcase and go. And go. It's very simple. It's battery operated, and it's a really nice item. And also, how and how much does that cost? This is around fifty dollars. Right, so that's a good option for a little less money. So this is uh, one of my personal favorites. This is actually um, by PlayStation. This is the PlayStation Portable. Mm -hmm. um, this is also for the guy who travels a lot. And if he's a big sports fan, what's great is you can get him the Madden NFL game, and you can, like me, when I'm on a long trip heading to the West Coast, I play, you know, my favorite team and it really passes the time. It's mm -hmm. a cool cool gadget all around. It's it's one of the highest rated gadgets uh, from tech experts and you can also uh, watch movies on it, you can listen to music and you can play a wide array of video games on it also. What, what is this? This is the Nintendo Wii and this is actually one of the most popular items. If you can find one, buy it. It's so cool because it's great. Uh, both men and women love to play it. It's, it's an interactive, it's really sort of revolutionary in that, and I'll, I'll show you. Uh, this is called the Nunchuck and what, uh -oh. and, watch yeah. out. Exactly, watch better out. better behave. <laughs> and uh, we have one of the most popular games here, which is Legends of Zelda. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting about it is you can actually, uh, when you use your sword in the video game, you swing with the nunchuck. So uh, there's a sensor on top of your screen, and it's a it's a great game. There's a lot of different, you can have boxing, uh, there's table tennis, there's tennis. Okay, now what if your guy's not into gadgets, and maybe not into sports, but yeah. is something into a little more sort of... I don't know, yeah, sophisticated. Well, exactly. Um, cooking, especially if you want your the guy in your life to cook a little bit more. Um, uh, every guy should have a really nice uh, knife for in the kitchen. And what's uh, amazing about this is it has these ridges built into the blade that makes it so when you cut something, uh, nothing sticks. Oh, great. Um, it's made by Swiss Army, um, and it's a really beautiful item. It's it's about $100, mm -hmm. um, and it uh, makes a nice addition to any kitchen. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about this cookbook here. This is a big Yes, cookbook. this is the uh, Silver Spoon mm -hmm. and this is um, this is translated from Italian um, and it really has all the best recipes that you can possibly imagine. Um, it's been... And it's Italian food? It's Italian. So it's, it's been the best pastas. selling book in Italy for the past 50 years um, and it's a really good place to start. So if a guy, uh, the guy in your life is a cook or if you want him to be a cook, this is a really nice gift. This is also to keep your guy smelling Yes, fragrances, men's, <laughs> men's fragrances are, are really great items. Uh, and much like when you change your, um, your dress and what you wear in your wardrobe for the seasons, so should you also update your fragrance. The same fragrance that you wear in the summer might not be the best for mm -hmm. the winter. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is by Keaton. And it's a little, it has a little more depth. It's a little more structured, um, a little more masculine. Uh, whereas if you want something for the spring, you have Aqua de Jo, which is a little more light and a little more refreshing. Okay, so how much does one of these bottles run you? They're going to run you about $50, so they won't break the bank. Thanks so much, Brett. Again, that's Brett Falgren. He is the GQ style correspondent. And I am Jennifer Morris for Houdini.